Hey guys, Chris here with another video for you. Um, I got my digital readout set today and I installed it and I wanted to show you guys uh, how it's installed so that uh, if anybody else has this machine out there they can install it on their machine. It's really quite simple. Um, it, was, it was not that hard to do. Uh, so let me just show you how I installed mine. Um, okay these two bolts, there's a bolt on this side and a bolt on the other side and they have these little slots uh, these slots uh, are tra they travel along this this table and they're used as, as stops for the table I guess if you wanted to put a piece of work on there and you wanted to have a stop and you didn't want to go uh, uh, a certain distance you could just make the table stop there's also used to be a piece of metal here for that would actually stop when you put the bolt in the uh, track. Uh, I just took that and I moved it over all the way to the end of the table. And I got that idea from somebody. Uh, it was a, a couple of pictures uh, on the internet. And I can't remember what site it was, but uh, it showed that he did the same thing. So I just wanted to make a video showing uh, how that was done. Um, I did this on, this, on the other side. Uh, as well and the track is now perfectly aligned um, all the way across uh, what I did in the center was uh, flatten out a bracket and then use a washer underneath that was about a sixteenth of an inch thick and just put a bolt through it and it uh, it's the perfect distance and the uh, the gib tighteners uh, they work perfectly there's no interference there so uh, that was the, uh, I think the x-axis, um, that was how I installed that one. So let me show you the, the y-axis. All I did was drilled and tapped two holes, one here and one on the very end down here. Uh, that, that was uh, pretty easy to do if you have a, a tap, but you need to make sure that you go in far enough if you don't have a bottoming tap. Um, I just had a, a starter tap, so I had to make sure that I drilled in pretty deep. This one I went all the way through uh, to the all the way through the casting. So uh, just be aware of that. This end uh, it's over far enough to where I don't think there's an there's an end of the casting uh, on the other side. So uh, this one didn't go all the way through. Uh, there's a couple of screws up here, and all I did was I got a drill bit that was slightly smaller than the uh, the two screws, and they're in there, they're in there uh, not very tight, but they are uh, tight enough to where uh, this doesn't move. So that's all I needed really, and it, it works perfectly. Um, and that's it, basically. Uh, it, was, it was really pretty simple. I didn't install the, uh, the Z-axis because uh, there's already a digital readout on this thing on the spindle. And that's really all I cared about. I didn't want to go as far as putting a, a, a hole. Uh, z-axis readout uh, just yet. I may do that at some point, but uh, for right now this is going to work perfect. Okay, uh, these are the readouts. Um, one is on, one is off. Let's turn this one on. Um, as you can see, I, it, it does remember the last uh, number where you were at when you turn it back on. I did notice that. Um, but as you can see, the right one is for the, the uh, the x-axis I believe, so let me turn that, as you can see the numbers changing uh, the left one is for the uh, the y-axis as you can see the numbers changing there uh, yeah they're, they're in, uh, they read I think the increments are thousandths of an inch and it even reads half uh, thousandths and there's a little tiny five right there, don't know if you can pick that up but uh, it does read half so uh, they're really pretty cool, uh, it's a good setup it was uh, fairly inexpensive. I think I got these two for around 70, 75 bucks. And, uh, it's actually a great purchase. Um, I think there's another set out that costs way more than that. I think it's about five or six hundred dollars. We don't have that kind of money right now, so uh, these were actually perfect for what we needed. And uh, yeah, that's it. We got our digital readout. I just wanted to show you guys. I just want to show you how we installed it. Um, hopefully you guys learned something and hopefully uh, you know if you if you guys decide to do it yourself uh, you won't have too much trouble putting it on 
Well, that's it for now. Uh, I got more coming. Got some tools on the way. Uh, should be here this week. So I should have some more videos by, by next weekend. I'm hoping. Um, yeah. Okay. That's it. We'll see you next time.